Namaste. Hearty welcome to you all for this uh, fifth session and uh, ninth day of our practice. And let us begin the today's session with prayer. Ongkas followed by the sadhana. Sit comfortably in a comfortable sitting posture. Some people can also sit on the chair. Fold your hands in Namaskar Mudra. <coughs> Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. Tasmarami Hudi Sam Spuradat Matatvam Sachit Sukham Paramaham Sagatim Turiyam Yet Swapna Jagara Tad Brahmanishkalamaham Nachabhuta Sangaha Prater Bhajami Manasa Vachasamagamyam Vacho Vibhanti Nikhila Yenneti neti vachanair nigama avochuhu Stam deva deva madama chutama hura grim Praterna mamita masaha Paramar kavarnam Purnam sanatana padam Purushottamakhyam Yasminidam jagadashesamasesamurtau Rajvam pujangamayiva Pratiphasitam vai Om Shanta Shanta Shanti Thank you. Please open your eyes. Look straight. <coughs> Just to remind you before we start today's practice, the whole effort conducting this live program is to motivate the yoga sadhaks to practice yoga regularly around sunrise that is around 6.30 the time is fixed, days are fixed so that yoga shall become integral part of our life the whole session is intended for improving the well-being quotient that is eat well sleep well talk well and ultimately in the long run behave well the behavioral modifications say take some time to modify but it needs a constant regular practice that's why I am introducing very very simple but very effective scientific 
method to practice yoga my earnest request please continuously follow us and practice regularly live if possible it's my please do this so that we can get the good results now let us start today's sadhana with shodhana the clean sing we have introduced uh, vata neti and kapal bhati today we do vata neti one round 60 seconds or 60 strokes okay please sit straight chin up little bit back side look at the tip of your nose chin up chin up okay now follow me start 60 rounds of vata neti inhalation and exhalation through only nostrils don't use your stomach much okay start the last stroke keep your head straight relax see the impact on your forehead if you increase the number of strokes to more than 30 seconds or 60 strokes the impact is much better on the forehead and the brain functions now take a deep breath and exhale now go to kapala bhati last time we explained kapala bhati sit straight elevate your chest up then start 30 strokes first round exhale close your eyes see the impact and also the difference <clears throat> each practice has its own impact you go to the second round take a deep breath and exhale start the second round 30 strokes yes elevate the chest start exhale relax wonderful take a deep breath again and relax start with our last round start exhale relax neti kapala bhati have their own impacts on our mind and body especially with the morning time after going through morning duties and taking a bath and doing this have a wonderful results take a deep breath and exhale let us move on to postures the yoga asana the postures let us stand up please stand up and sit straight let's have a 3 inches to 6 inches gap between the feet stretch your arms down look straight this is stiti now we do six type of movements in 
ತಾಡಾಸನ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚಿಂಗ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟ್ರಲ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆಸನ ಲಾಟ್ ಯೋರ್ಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ವಾಚ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಡಾಮಿನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ನಾಸ್ಟಿಲ್ಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಲಾಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫಿಂಗರ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ಹೇಲ್ ರೈಜ್ ಯುವರ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ದೆನ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಟಾಪ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಲೈನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಾರ್ಸಲ್ ಸ್ಪೈನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೈಟ್ ದ ಹೋಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಲೈನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೈನ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ಲಾ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಪಾರ್ಶ್ವಕೋಣಾಸನ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬ್ರೀದ್ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಅಪ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಲೆಟ್ರಲ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹೇಲ್ ಅಪ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಓಪನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೇಲ್ ಬೆಂಡ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ relax don't bend too much open your eyes then inhale up yes exhale bend forward first stretch the body and keep the hands on the ground first then slowly bring your tummy down and then head last be there in pad vistruta pad hastasana we name them different asanas but they are i am taking in one stretch inhale up raise your arms up yes lock your fingers stretch your arms very good exhale twist to your right side twist the body towards the right twist it turn your head trunk okay come back inhale yes exhale twist to the left side twist it twist it twist it again come back inhale stretch your arms and slowly exhale keep your palms on the head rest for a second or two then we do full fledged tadasana inhale raise your arms up very good then slowly raise your heels and stand on the toes stand on your toes yes maintain normal breathing the whole idea is to balance the whole body in a straight line by giving all possible movements to the spine very easy to do it now exhale heels down hands on the head inhale stretch your arms side wise stretch up very good very good exhale hands down keep them straight close your eyes relax this is the body alignment tadasana it takes a minimum 3 minutes maximum 5 minutes it has its own impact if you do it regularly anybody can do it only thing hypertensive patient severe chronic backache patients shall avoid the backward bending and also the forward bending postures okay now please sit down kagasana first sit on your knees and turn and stretch your legs yeah first rest well you are standing for last 5 minutes take your hands back drop your head back vishramasana very simple very simple very easy very good close your eyes relax the whole body fantastic now join your legs feet together toes together heels together knees together keep your palms beside the thighs or the hip joints 
look straight dandasana you can see the squeezing in the calf muscles knee joints look straight now we do bhadrasana bend your knees join your feet heels touching heels toes touching toes then slowly lock your fingers and cup them hold the toes now raise the knees little bit up okay then slowly take your heels back towards the body let the heels touch the perineum region the region between the guha and guda the anal and the genital organ between small place there let both the heels just touch them don't press it then pull your spine up knees down as much as possible don't force to the ground if it is not so don't worry look straight this is called bhadrasana today we take it forward baddha konasana now first pull your spine up and exhale stretch forward and bend forward stretch up first stretch yes make your spine flat then slowly shoulder down then head down elbows should be beside your body you can touch your forehead or the chin whatever you want depends upon the nature of benefits you want this is called baddha konasana very useful practices both men and women particularly women those who are in menstrual cycle pregnant women and arthritis people shall not practice this inhale and rise your head first shoulder then back only one go make the body straight then slowly lift your knees up stretch your legs keep the hands back vishramasana dandasana first then vishramasana this is the procedure we are doing very slow graceful movements with breathing and involving our thoughts and emotions long run we see the difference they are all i am making the practice very 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 simple i use the word very 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 simple okay but powerful now we'll do once again baddha konasana how to do that come to dandasana join the legs keep the arms besides then slowly knees bend your knees join your heels hold your toes then slowly stretch your thighs downward sit straight first inhale fully stretch your spine then exhale bend forward first stretch the spine then slowly once it become as flat perpendicular to the ground then shoulder then head final stretch very good very good stretch up stretch up elbows beside the body see the relax your thigh groins relax your knees relax the whole lower spine it's a wonderful powerful practice baddha konasana then slowly after normal breathing lift your head up then slowly shoulders up then the body in one go inhale exhale relax your thighs stretch your legs dandasana inhale and exhale vishramasana relax this is one more posture baddha konasana tomorrow we'll learn one more modification of bhadrasana now let us move on to shavasana lie down flat as it is stretch your legs rest on the ground in supine position okay join your legs stretch your arms up <coughs> stretch your arms up 
keep them on the ground keep them on the ground yes just like it is called tadasana in lying tadasana posture in lying now three deep breathing yogic breathing inhale rise your tummy little bit yes. expand the chest feel the breathing up to the top of the head and exhale relax the head, brain nose shoulder down chest down tummy down again continue another one inhale exhale inhale exhale fantastic okay now slowly take your arms beside the body turn to your left side and sit down for pranayama let us sit and have a jnana mudra and the right hand pranayama mudra i taught you okay close both the nostrils exhale first close it now surya vedana inhale through the right nostril inhale 1 2 3 4 5 6 close exhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 last round inhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 left 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale completely lock the both the nostril and slowly raise your chest up you can see the tummy going inside and relax your tummy exhale take a deep breath exhale relax surya vedana at the end we are doing bahya kumbhaka and slowly getting into uddiyana now it is chandra vedana chandra means the vedana opening of the right left nostril ida means chandra the left nostril okay what you have to do inhale through the left exhale through the right okay now lock the fingers let us have it yes exhale first lock close both the nostrils now open the left nostril inhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 inhale left 1 2 3 4 5 6 exhale right 1 2 3 4 5 6 last round inhale left 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एक्जेल राइट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एक्जेल कंप्लीटली क्लोज बोथ द नॉस्ट्रेल माउथ एंड सक यू कैन सी द डायफ्राम राइजिंग अप देन स्लोली रिलैक्स योर एबडाम मसल्स ब्रीद इन एक्जेल सी द ओपनिंग ऑफ बोथ द नॉस्ट्रेल टेक ए डी ब्रीद टेक ए डी ब्रीद एंड एक्सेल टेक ए डी ब्रीद एंड एक्सेल वेरी गुड नाउ श्वास धारणा यू चक टूडे लास्ट टाइम वी डिड ओम धारणा नाउ यू आर डूइंग श्वास धारणा सो एग्जामिन हाउ द एयर एंटर्स वायु एंटर्स बोथ द नॉस्ट्रिल how much you can make it sensible how much how much you can experience only up to the nostril or up to the throat or up to the trachea or up to the lungs or air sacs depends upon your awareness how much you can see the flow of air the vayu dharana close your eyes om relaxation the nerves are relaxing the brain is getting totally it is all and relax see the beauty of dhyana silence simple way of entering into the state of meditation then slowly listen to me this week we have taken the suvichar thought of the day as prema and bhakti day for yesterday i requested you to search for a person anyone or any entity which you are loving prema completely total without any reservations without any expectations why this is so so we love the same thing in return expectation gives rise to tension no two human minds are alike unless we reach that infinite states of consciousness there is a imbalance imbalance is a dukha it's pain therefore avoid that so if you are orient total slowly lead tends towards the infinity of love then you are expanding what is that perfect love it is expansion of our consciousness expansion of our thought process not confining to the cell but somebody misunderstood the love yesterday it's not only the love between a girl and a boy or man and woman 
it's a total love it helps us to slowly freedom our mind because emotions are the better means to achieve the first and foremost these things of yoga that bhakti that's why bhakti yoga is the simple method best method for the common man to practice it but that's why first of all just it will not happen in a day or two continue that every day every day every day then slowly you are expanding your thoughts expanding your minds expanding your emotions that expansion bring the purity then purity leads to experience the divinity which is within today thought of the day and sankalpa experience that divinity in a person or an entity you identify and remove all the obstacles he or she or it may become your principle of god principle ishwara with this we conclude with a shanti part hold your hands take a deep breath सर्वे सर्वे संतु निरामया सर्वे भद्रानी पश्यंतु मा कश्चि दुख भाग भवे मा कश्चि दुख भाग भवे ओम शांति शांति shanti slowly keep your palms on the eyes experience by energy then slowly come down namaste thank you dhanyawad